Welcome to part 5 of our free UX UI Design Slicer Pane mini course. This is the final part of this mini course. If you haven't watched the previous four parts yet, check out the links in the description to watch those first. Alright, so now it's time to create our bookmarks. We're going to open up the selection pane and we're going to select the group slicer pane and then show it. Let's click that clear all button just to clear those filters out. Now let's go ahead and open up bookmarks. Select the group slicer pane only. And while it's showing, you're going to click add. You're going to double click on the name. We're going to name it slicer pane open. Then I'm going to click on the three dots to the right to open up more options. We're going to uncheck data. I'm going to go back in and choose selected visuals. Now let's go ahead and hide that group. Select it again. Click add. This one we're going to name slicer pane close. You're going to go into more options, uncheck data, then go back in, choose selected visuals. All right, let's test it out. Open, close, open, close. All right, looks good. Now we need to assign those bookmarks to the appropriate buttons. So our first button here at the top right is going to open the slicer pane. So if you click twice, you'll end up selecting the button. And you'll also notice that if we open up the group slicer pane open, just to confirm, you can see that we're selecting that button underscore filters. Once you have that selected, go to format button, action, and we're going to assign slicer pane open. Let's test it out. Hold control, looks good. Now while we have the slicer pane open, we're going to click on that X at the top right corner. You just have to left click twice to select it. Go to format your button, action, and then we're going to select slicer pane close. Now let's select that close button, at the bottom right corner, and assign the exact same bookmark. Slicer pane close. Let's try it out. All right, that looks good. Let's try the X one. And that's working great. So the next thing we want to do is assign four bookmarks to these buttons right here that will clear out the selections when a user clicks on it. So the way to do it here is to reshow that slicer pane and then open up the slicer pane. So we're going to click on the period slicer. Notice how we don't have anything selected right now. So this is how we want the state to be for this bookmark. So while you have it selected, you're just going to simply click add. We're going to double click in the name. We're going to type slicer clear period. Then you're going to go into more options. We want data selected here because we want to clear out any periods that may be selected. However, we're only concerned with the period slicer here. So we are going to switch it from all visuals to selected visuals. All right. Next, we're going to select the category slicer. So I'm going to click it. Make sure you do not have any categories selected. And then we're going to click add. Same thing. I'm just going to name it slicer clear category. Go into more options and then select selected visuals. Now we're going to select the country managers one. Make sure you do not have any country selected. Then you're going to click add. Double click. We're going to name this one slicer clear country. We're going to go into it and choose selected visuals. Now, because country and manager are grouped in this slicer, we can use the same bookmark for both. As long as you don't have any managers selected within these countries when you created that bookmark. Because we have nothing selected here, I'm just going to use that same bookmark for both. Double click in the name and I'll just add MGR for manager. All right. So now that we have those bookmarks, let's assign them to those buttons that we put on top of the filter info pane. Let's close this, close the slicer pane. We're going to open up the group filter tooltips, click on the button, period, turn action on. We're going to go bookmark and select slicer clear period. Go ahead and select our category one. And we'll select slicer clear category, select the country one, select slicer clear country manager, and then we'll select our manager button. 
and select that same bookmark, Slicer, Clear, Country, Manager. Let's close that up. And let's test this all out. Click on filters, select a category, select a country, a couple managers. And let's close that. You can see that our tool tips are working. Now let's hold control and click on the X. And we can see that worked. It cleared out country and manager. Let's now do the category one. And we can see it cleared out that category. If you want, we can go ahead and check period real quick. Select a couple periods, close, click the X, and it cleared that out. All right, and that leads me to my pro UX UI tip number nine. Use selected visuals when you only want to show or hide specific layers or groups while not changing the other visual layers on the page. So we can see here when we click on that filter button, we're just showing this group right here. And then when we click close, it hides it. It does not affect any of the other visuals on our canvas. It's just simply showing or hiding this group when we click those bookmarks. And our other bookmarks are working the same way. The only difference is we have data selected because we want those bookmarks to clear out any data that we have selected, which in our case are these fields within the slicers. All right, so we are all finished creating our UX UI designed slicer pane. Yay! And that leads me to my very last pro UX UI tip number 10, be consistent. So slicer panes like this look great. But as you just experienced, they take a lot of work to create. So if you're going to use them, I highly suggest using the same style in all of your reports so your users get used to them and become familiar with them. You can always save a template of a slicer pane and then reuse it later on within a report with just a few tweaks. So for example, let's duplicate this page. And I'm going to go to Selections and select the slicer pane. I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to temporarily remove the shape overlay. Drag it down here for now. So I just want the slicer pane group just like we see here. Now you can see I can left click and hold and drag the entire group all in one shot. Then you can left click on the top left corner and manually resize your slicer to whatever size you need it to be. After you've done that, you can make small adjustments to the slicers within it if you need, or you can add new slicers to it. So saving this slicer pane as a template is just going to save you time down the road so you don't have to start completely from scratch each time you need to make a slicer pane. All right, so I really hope you found value in this free UX UI designed slicer pane mini course. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification button. And once you finish this free mini course, if you're looking to take your Power BI design skills to the next level, feel free to check out my 14-day self-paced premium Power BI UX UI design course. There's a link in the channel description shown here.